You versus your brain is the way that I describe the internal conflict that we have when we study or when we're trying to do something difficult. Okay, so there's there's you who knows that there's things that you need to do. You need to go to the gym. You need to study. You need to do questions instead of um, you know instead of sitting on the couch. You need to go to class, you need to read, you need to learn, whatever the case is. And then there's your brain is, is kind of the, the name that I'm giving, the part of your, your, your internal self that doesn't want to do these things, is a little bit lazy, is a little bit more passive. I don't really want to go to gym. I don't feel like it. I'm tired. I'd rather watch TV. I'd rather watch Netflix. Um, I'd rather watch YouTube. I'd rather watch cat videos, etc. So there's this constant internal conflict uh, within yourself where you, again, the name that I'm giving to the part of yourself that's logical and rational and says, um, you know, you want to study and you want to go to gym and you want to do all these things that are really good for you. And then there's your brain that's fighting with you, if you will, and provides an inter constant internal conflict going, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. And the question is, which one wins? you know, which one wins that internal conflict? Is it you that wants to go to gym or is it your brain that says, oh, I don't feel like I can go tomorrow. Uh, I'm not really ready. I'm a little tired. I'm hungry, whatever the case is. Is it you that knows that you need to sit down and study or your brain that says, oh, I'm a little tired and I need to eat lunch first. And it's, there's no point in studying now because I'm too tired anyway. So that's constantly an internal conflict between, between you versus your brain. Why aren't they aligned? Right? Why aren't these two aligned? They have different, or these two parts of yourself have different motivations, different strengths and weaknesses. You are logical, right? So you're prepared to say, I need to do the tough stuff. I need to do what, what is difficult and I'm going to commit to this and uh, I'm going to sit down and I, I agree, you know, I need to work hard and I need to do all these things that are really difficult to do. And yes, I am prepared to do that. Then there's your brain. And your brain is more emotional and it's more fearful. That part of yourself, that other side of yourself is more fearful. And it's, it says, yeah, I understand that we need to work hard, but I'm a little bit scared about that. What if it doesn't work out? Your brain doesn't like uncertainty. As humans, uh, our brains are not okay with uncertainty, right? We don't like change. We don't like change. We don't like failure. We're not okay with failure. We're not okay with stuff that makes us feel bad. Uh, so when you're dealing with, or when you're thinking about your brain and the part of your personality or the internal messaging that's going, I don't like uncertainty. I don't like failure. I don't like change. I don't like feeling bad. Then you think about studying and you say, all of these things that your brain is worried about is the type of things that's going to pop up when you study. When you study, there's a lot of uncertainty. What can come up in the exam? Will I know how to write the exam? Is the exam going to be too hard for me or too easy? How much do I have to study this thing? How little do I have to study this thing? Change, new things, dealing with things in new ways that I'm not comfortable with. Failure, what if I fail that exam? What if I fail that question? What if I fail that test? I'm not going to feel good. I'm not okay with that. 